What's up guys? I am going to cover some big shells. So I want to start off with some easy stuff and then we'll work our way into more crazy stuff. So this first one is just a simple start off bounce of a slide and then bouncing off onto the side walls. This second one is basically just a way to recapture that same big shell. Um, I used it in a speed run, so it works with max jump and holding right. The next one here I have is from a totally different level. It's just from a stationary spot with a big shell and working it way up. Um, in terms of the, the next big shell is basically coming from a platform, dropping down, bouncing off the note block off the wall, and then using it again to get height. This last one is an interesting one. Basically, you have to have indicators for the coins for jumping up straight up because you want to hit the left side of that big buzzy. The buzzy goes right, bounces off a spring, then it goes off a spring on the side wall and uses it to launch the player over that saw. But I'm going to remove that and move the other saws just so you can see it a little bit better. And I'm using the coin indicators because we want to indicate how we want to hit those big shells. On the second part, it, you hit it on the sliding platform and then it bounces off the left wall to the ground and then off the side wall. On this other simple example we have here is another stack of the big buzzy over a ghost. We've seen this as a recurring theme, right? Flies over to the side, hits a no block off the wall, and then uses the player to launch over the next spot. So another way of using the same big shell twice. Let's look at an, an even different example. We have one here where it gets knocked over by the player and then subsequently bounced on. Easy setup. Let's take a look also at, this is one of my more popular levels that has a clear condition that you can't touch the ground, hence there's no spikes and saws, uh, or not as many at least. Let's remove these for the sake of argument just so we can see how this works. This one bounces off um, the side spring that falls off from a claw. Now the spring is going to drop as soon as the player goes over it, and then it comes over. The next setup here is showing a big buzzy hanging under a pipe, bouncing down, then using to bounce up again. So we're using that same buzzy twice. And then subsequently we have a knock situation where we knock over the big beetle and then land on it again and again. So let's look at that even closer. So we knock it, we land on it, then it goes underneath the whole track system underneath where we land on it yet again. Okay, so let's look at a, a long range of this so you can see what's happening. We have here the buzzy, bounce on that. We've already seen that many times, bounce up here, so we hit that twice knocking this big buzzy that's one hit hitting it here two hits third hit comes up here let's take a look at this up closer so let's remove that all that's happening is essentially we're hitting the, the beetle again so now it's in kind of sleep mode if you will as it slowly rolls off here bounces off this side spring notice that the conveyor is pointed towards the side springs and then let's remove this and then we can see that it's gonna bounce over here and land over here for us to hit it three times. Pretty cool. All right, let's look at, let's look at one more on this level. Knock, boom. We have here that we hit up, this Koopa is literally just hanging on up there. Let's see what it looks like in so. So there's a, just a red Koopa just chilling up there. We hit it once and then we wanna bonk it, right? Okay, so we can see here the shell is just, the red coop is just gonna hang up there. Okay, so this one we hit it once, hit it twice, hit it thrice. So we've essentially hit it the same Koopa three times. We bonked him with this, bonked him with that. Easy setup. Simple basic setups back to back and it has well over 2,500 plays. So it was definitely a popular concept. Okay, here's a pretty simple setup as well that involves hitting the same shell twice, right? So you're gonna come through the pipe Hit this, boom, we hit it twice. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We just have a big buzzy hanging out on the underneath the wall here, and that's gonna hit that side spring as soon as we tap it, bounce off the music blocks up and over. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, here's another popular setup. Notice the spring is just floating above here with a big buzzy on top of a ghost. Now, the reason that is, is because we know when we tap the buzzy, it's gonna fall through the ghost. We want it to fall through the ghost and land on the spring. This setup, some of you may have already seen, but 
So very, very, very basic, right? For this one, I just had it destroying blocks and going underneath. There's lots of different ways you can do it. I wanted it so that the player had to hit an on-off switch up there. Okay, and play resumes from there. But very cool. You're definitely gonna want indicators on here because you hit the top center of the beetle the first time, but on the second tap, in order to make it go to the right, you gotta poop the indicator over to the left because you wanna tap the left side of that shell so it goes over. And then indicate it. Let's take a look at that from afar. Pretty cool, pretty straightforward. Okay, there's a few setups in this one that are of interesting note. Uh, there's some levels where we have big buzzies hanging up on ceilings waiting to come down. We have a few levels like that. Okay, let's look at the first few seconds of this level. So we see we end up hitting that same big buzzy three times. Let's look at this from afar. So we see this big one that just drops down as soon as the player comes over, so we knock it once. Easy setup. This one, a little different, right? We have the big buzzy is centered over this muncher, right? Let's remove this, because we know we're gonna slide under here, right? These are just there for cheese. So we're tapping this twice. It's gonna bonk against the muncher, right? As soon as we bonk it on the right side, and then it slides under and goes there. So we've essentially hit it three times. 